Hello, I'm Julia Donaldson and I'm so pleased to be sharing another story with you this week. This is a brand new story, um, What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside, and it's about how the little ladybird needs to stop two very bad men from stealing a mermaid's hair. It's actually the fourth um, book about this little ladybird. So before you hear the story, I thought you might like to just see a clip of my husband Malcolm and me singing the song of the very first book, um, What the Ladybird Heard. So it's just going to come up on your screen in a minute and I don't forget to join in with the animal noises. Hello, this is Julia Donaldson and I'm her husband Malcolm. We're going to sing a song called What the Ladybird Heard based on the book by Julia and illustrated by Lydia Monks. In this story, a tiny ladybird saves a fine prize cow from being stolen by two robbers, Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh. And she does this by getting the animals on the farmyard to make the wrong noises. in store, the lovely Lydia Monks, who did all the pictures for all the Ladybird Heard books, is going to tell you the new story of what the Ladybird Heard at the seaside. Hello, it's Lydia Monks here. I've got something very exciting with me. Look, I've got our new book, <gasps> What the Ladybird Heard at the Seaside. One July, when the sun was high, the ladybird took to the clear blue sky. She spread her wings in a summer breeze and flew over farms and fields and trees. She flew and she flew as fast as could be till at last she came to the deep salt sea. 
and the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred, but the ladybird never said a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a camper van with swimming trunks and a cunning plan. They were Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len up to their wicked ways again. Said Lanky Len to Hefty Hugh, I tell you what we're going to do. We'll lie and wait till it's 12 o'clock, then out we'll swim to the mermaid's rock. The mermaid's hair is very long. She combs it while she sings her song. But when it's night and she's fast asleep, then tiptoe onto her rock we'll creep. And snip, 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 we'll cut that hair. So very long and very fair. Said Hefty Hugh to Lanky Len, We'll make a lovely wig and then we'll sell it to a famous star. What brilliant bla brainy blokes we are. The mermaid's hair will soon grow back enough to fill another sack. We'll keep on going, we'll keep on doing it forever. We've hit on something really clever. The little spotty ladybird who hardly ever spoke a word told the animals what she'd heard. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid wailed and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash and the fish declared, that wicked pair, we can't let them steal the mermaid's hair. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered it into every ear. Then the seagull gave a joyful shriek and he fetched some seaweed in his beak and as the sky was turning red, he dropped it onto the sea lion's head. Then as the sky was turning black, the sea lion climbed on the whale's humped back. The clock struck twelve and the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, flip-flapped down to the salty sea. It was cold and dark but they laughed with glee. Then the whale began to sing a song. That's her, said Hugh, we can't go wrong. They swam towards the tuneful sound. She's still awake, said Len and frowned. The singing stopped. They took a peep, said Hugh, I think she's gone to sleep. Up they climbed with their big brown sack onto the whale's enormous back. And snip, 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 they started snipping. This hair, said Hugh, is damp and dripping. What's more, said Len, it's awfully tough. Our scissors can't be sharp enough. Then help, cried Hugh, this rock is heaving. I think we'd better both be leaving. But Len replied, just one more snip. Then the whale's grey tail gave a mighty flip. The thieves fell into the water, splosh, and Hugh said, golly, and Len said, gosh. Then ouch, cried Hugh, and Len cried, no, as the shark bit a flipper and the crab pinched a toe. They swam for their lives and then they ran all the way back to the camper van. Phew, said Hugh, we've had a scare, but at least we've got the mermaid's hair. They opened up the sack and then... It's full of seaweed, shouted Len. And tricked again, said the two bad men. Then the sea lion roared and the seagull shrieked. The mermaid sang and the dolphin squeaked. The crab went snap and the shark went gnash. The whale's grey tail made a mighty splash. The dogfish barked and the catfish purred, but the ladybird said never a word. There we go. Hope you enjoyed it.
I hope you enjoyed the story and please do watch again next week when I'm going to be sharing some poems from a book called Crazy Mayonnaise Mum and I'm going to have the illustrator of that book, Nick Sharrett, with me.